Hello and welcome. This is Stocks to Watch on Bloomberg Quint. I am Agam Vakil. This is where we take you through three stocks which are in the news and take them up with our experts. Uh, but today, the stocks that we are going to talk about is uh, HDFC Bank on the back of earnings and again on the back of earnings, ICICI, Lombard and GIC. And Vodafone Idea, well, we do have a lot of updates in the telecommunications sector. And to take us through some of these stocks, we are in conversation with Avinash Gorakshakar, the Director of Research at ProfitMark Securities, who is joining us on this segment at this point in time. But before I go across to Avinash, let's take up the first stock, and that's HDFC Bank. Uh, we've had earnings, and it's actually been, uh, you know, Business as usual, it seems, like for HDFC Bank, because we're looking at a near 18% growth in its net interest income for the first quarter year on year, and its net profit has risen around 20%. I'm sure uh, at the, on the base of it, a lot of will be curious about the provisioning. That stands at around a little less than 3,900 crores for the quarter. But, and that really hasn't dampened uh, too much when it comes to the net profit, which did grow nearly 20%. Like I said, a lot of this is business as usual. Let's get in Avinash into the conversation. Avinash, good morning and thanks for joining in. Uh, your view on HDFC. Uh, good morning, Agam. I think uh, Agam numbers presented by HDFC Bank have definitely been quite robust given the challenging scenario of a lockdown, you know, which we saw in the month of April and May. Uh, Pleasantly, I think, you know, the uh, operating profitability as well as the loan disbursement growth has been solid. In fact, the management commentary in the conference call indicated that, you know, loan disbursements are now to almost 80 percent of the pre-COVID levels. And the bank is quite confident that the uh, second half should be equally better. I think the only near term concern could be the slippage number, which I would say that, uh, you know, in all probability uh, on the unsecured book could possibly get elevated maybe in the second half. So all said and done, numbers are definitely uh, a decent set of numbers. Uh, I would be uh, definitely be sure that today the markets could possibly give it a thumbs up uh, in today's morning session. And I think overall, you know, the management commentary on the management transition plus other, uh, you know, uh, uh, sticky issues like the Altico deal have also been, uh, you know, correctly and, uh, you know, uh, very rightly, uh, you know, uh, you know, commented by the management. So all said and done a pretty uh, decent set of numbers. And I think uh, one could definitely look at it, you know, uh, from a long term point of view. Uh, today, the stock may open higher, but any decline should be used as an opportunity to accumulate the stock. Fair enough. Uh, before we move on to the next, uh, well, uh, you know, stock on our list, that's uh, Lombard General Insurance. And this is where we've seen gross premium declined by 5% on a year-on-year -year basis at a little less than around 3,400 crores. Its net in income is up around 28% at 398 crores. Uh, we all know that uh, some of these insurance companies have had challenges with respect to collecting premiums. Uh, well, based on the factors that we've seen in ICICI Lombard and your general outlook for the company, Avinash, uh, what's the way forward here? No, I think Agam, uh, numbers presented were definitely much uh, <clears throat> better than the street expectations. In fact, uh, markets were expecting that the cross premiums in this quarter could definitely show a negative sign uh, considering the fact that you know big users like the automobile sector has actually shown a significant degrowth in this period uh, our sense is uh, agam the net uh, uh, income has actually gone up largely because of the, some sort of increase on the treasury side but operationally you know i would believe that at least for the next one quarter uh, business will continue to be challenging and i think from a longer term perspective any strong recovery can be expected only from the start of the third quarter of fi 21 uh, we believe that you know any weakness uh, uh, agam should be used as an opportunity to accumulate the stock longer term prospects are definitely good but fi 21 will continue to be challenging and i don't I, I won't be surprised that the second quarter also you know gross premiums may not show a kind of a positive trajectory we could see a better number coming only in the second half so net net continue to hold on and I would believe it's a good long-term kind of addition to the portfolio. When we move on to Vodafone, it's been quite volatile, though it has come off its recent lows, that is about 12 rupees uh, um, uh, per share mark. It's currently around, you know, 9 rupees odd. Uh, in the latest in terms of news, what we understand is that it's paid about another 1,000 crores to the Department of Telecommunications towards its AGR dues. Six thousand eight hundred fifty-four crores in three tranches. 
so slowly and steadily vodafone idea really certainly getting uh, you know and uh, when we do have another matter coming up in the courts today when it comes to agr due specifically uh, when telecom sector in general will be in focus but avinash uh, you know let's talk about vodafone idea uh, how do you rate the stock at this point in time would you want to go ahead and risk uh, considering the stock is near its uh, life low uh agam i think this uh, news flow about uh, you know vodafone paying uh, its dues on the agr front is definitely a positive uh, a sentimental booster to the i think we do have a problem but uh, well you know i was mentioning uh, earlier that uh, when when it comes to vodafone idea uh but we've seen okay i think we have a uh, avinash uh, back yes avinash you are making a point no i was saying that uh, this uh, news flow about agr payments made by vodafone is definitely a positive sentiment booster to the stock in the near term uh, we could see a short term upside in the stock you know because most of the negatives are factored in but i think the real re rating for this stock could come in agam only when operational metrics improve and i think that is definitely a long way ahead uh, they have just paid 7000 odd crores for the agr dues and a lot of uh, uh, remaining dues are still unpaid the market should be obviously looking at uh, some sort of uh, you know uh, improvement on the cash flows and on the operating uh, ebitda front uh, fourth quarter has been good but i would believe that you know from a longer term perspective it is still better to keep a wait and watch here uh, on the short term yes the stock could show a decent upside today but longer term i think all depends on the operational metrics how quickly the turn around and in these numbers so i would believe uh, you know short term traders could definitely uh, you know take uh, the benefit of the news flow today but longer term investors should actually stay away from this stock for some time okay and we will end the segment by asking avinash about an interesting idea that he is spotting avinash uh in fact agam uh, we are looking at uh, you know large e-commerce players especially from the b2b space and within this space we like a company called india mart our sense is that uh, you know this quarter also we could see a very strong top line growth of at least uh, 20 25% and operating profitability uh, is definitely also going to get a significant can booster overall i would believe that uh, you know despite the fact that the lockdown happened in april may business was as usual for india mart and considering the kind of cash flows and the kind of uh, you know uh, uh, asset light kind of business which they run i would not be surprised that we could see a decent 25 to 26% earnings growth for fy21 so you know this is a stock which one should accumulate for a longer term point of view the stock has been uh, trading a little soft in the past few weeks so this could be a good opportunity for you know a good long term acquisition considering that they are market leaders in this space and obviously you know at these levels also there's a decent risk reward available right <laughs> Uh, it's 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 totally trending around 2000 rupees a share so it's a very uh, interesting price point as as well uh, for india mart considering it has seen much higher highs in the past but we'll be watching out for that but on that note uh, avinash kurak shakar would like to thank you for joining us and taking us through your views on uh, the stocks that we discussed today and that's a wrap on this segment but that's not for lineup stay tuned for the weekend